There's been a big change in terms of how you can book your cruises with Princess Cruises, the options that you can have and the perks as well. I'm going to share all the details with you in this video. Hi there, I'm Ilana from the website lifewellcruise.com. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Now, as you know, I really like cruising with Princess Cruises. And in particular, I like some of the options that they are giving cruisers right now. And I always like a little bit of perks. If you like that too, you will want to know about some of the changes that are happening. Now, there are some really positive changes in terms of choices that you have, but there is also a change in pricing. It's a little bit time sensitive, so I did wanna make sure that I made this video promptly so that you know about it. Now, before I get started, I did wanna mention that if you like this video, if you find it helpful, informative, or enjoyable in any way, then please do give the video a big thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. I would love to have you here within the LifeWell Cruise community. Let's get started. So in this video, I'm going to talk about three types of cruise fares. The Princess Premier Cruise Fair, what's included, what's not, the Princess Plus, some of the changes that are happening, and the standard Princess rate. So first, let's look at the Princess Premier. Now, Princess Premier is new, and it's basically sort of like an enhancement of Princess Plus, if you've had Princess Plus before. So basically what you get with Princess Premier is the beverage package, and now you can go up all the way to an $18 per drink price. This is really something for you if you like maybe those top shelf liquors, if you like wine that's a little bit more pricey. This just does afford you some more options. Now, in addition to this, you do get Wi-Fi, but you get up to four devices per person. So you don't really have to switch devices like from your phone to your computer. And for a lot of people that are now working a little bit more while they're cruising or maybe just maybe watching something on their computer, but also maybe streaming or going on Facebook and scrolling, this is maybe just a little bit more flexible. Now, a big plus is that you get two nights of specialty dining. If you enjoy this, you know the kind of value that this is. Now, you also get a photo package per person, and I think it's actually quite generous. So you get unlimited digital, photos, but you also get three 8x10 prints per person in the cabin. Now the crew gratuities or the crew appreciation or incentive is included as well with Princess Premier. Now this is a value of if you're in an inside cabin, ocean view or balcony of $14.50 US per day. If you're in a junior suite or a mini suite, then it would be $15.50 per day. And if you are in a suite, it would be a value of $16.50 per person per day. And finally, you'll also be entered into Princess Prizes. Now, Princess Prizes is something completely new. I have never tried this before, but basically what it is, is you have the opportunity to be entered into winning these different prizes. And you'll actually see if you won, when you do go into your cabin door, it will show you on the portal next to your, sort of that ocean medallion portal that is at your door. And you could win prizes anywhere up until a $250 onboard credit. You could win the chef's table, specialty dining, um, you could win a variety of different packages, a free cruise, and even there's a grand prize of $100,000. So you're probably wondering how much is all of this? Well, for these six amenities, the Princess Premier program is $75 US per person per day. Now, Princess says this is a value of $156 per person per day. And obviously, whether you like this or not depends on if you are going to go to specialty dining, if you really enjoy this, if you think that you will take advantage of having all of those photos, you might really enjoy this. And of course, the Princess prizes and the upgrades in the Wi-Fi and the beverage package. Now, if you've already sailed under Princess Plus, you have a good idea of how this works. So please let me know if you think for that amount, if you think that that is a good value for you, please let me know down in the comments below. Okay, so now let's talk about your next option if you do like some perks, and this is Princess Plus. Now, I've talked in the past about Princess Plus in a separate video, as well as in my video all about Princess Cruise tips and secrets for 2022, which by the way, I will leave that video at the end of this one that you should definitely check out if you haven't done so already. But Princess Plus, that's been a favorite of mine since this has come out. And basically what's included with Princess Plus 
is beverages up to $12. And I should mention when I say beverages, these are beverages with alcohol as well as specialty coffee, as well as mocktails, uh, water bottles, fresh fruit juices. So it really does include a lot and really has a very good value. As well, you do have the crew incentive or the gratuities, which is also included in the Princess Premier program. And you have Wi-Fi, but in this case, it is one device per person. Now, if you do have more than one device, you could switch off one device and use the other. So not as convenient as the Princess Premier program, but definitely a very good value. Now, the price for Princess Plus is now going to be $50 per person per day. Now for all of this, still a very good value. It's $90 of value, I believe, per person per day. And honestly, coming from other cruise lines where I have paid for beverage packages and Wi-Fi separately, I know this is a really, really good price for this. Um, however, something I did want to mention is if you are watching this video now when it has just come out or anytime before May 24th, make sure if you are looking into this, if you are booking a Princess Cruise and if you're interested in Princess Plus, book this as soon as possible because the price is going to $50 uh, per person per day up from $40, well, basically on May 25th. Now, I hope that you're finding this video helpful so far. If you are, please do give it a big thumbs up. I definitely do appreciate it. Now, the third option, and I love options, so I appreciate that Princess does have this, is the Princess Standard Rate. So if you are, for whatever reason, if these packages just don't have value for you, if you love the main dining room and the other options available, and you don't really want to go to specialty dining, or if you don't really drink very much, or if you have some other perks that are a better value for you, you definitely don't need to take a perks package. So you can still get the lowest, the princess standard rate, and this is available for you. Now, no matter how you book your cruise, whether you book it with Princess Plus or the Princess Premier package or with the Princess Standard Rate, always take a look at Princess to see what additional offers they have because at different times, they really do have some great deals. They have some additional onboard credits, uh, sometimes some other promotions as well. And this is definitely something to take advantage of. Now, if you are a solo cruiser and you're watching this video right now, take a look at some of the solo rates for the cruises that are coming up uh, this summer or even into 2022, you may be surprised at some of the really very good solo cruiser rates. So definitely take a look at that. Now, I'd love to hear from you. What do you think of the Princess Premier package? What do you think of Princess Plus? Please let me know down in the comments below. Now, I'm going to leave a video right after this one all about the Princess Cruise secrets that you need to know for 2022. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a big thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Bye for now and happy cruising.